Welcome to this week's episode of The Downton Dish. I'm Marlies. And I'm Elise. And we are the chat show, The Dishes, about everything Downton Abbey. And today, we're going to talk about Season 5, Episode 5. Oh, what a good episode. <laughs> it was yes. so juicy! Woo. There were so many zingers, and, and oh it just... Oh my god, it was it incredible. Was exciting. Oh my god, the things that we have to talk about. But first, let's talk about Lady Rose finally getting a significant love storyline, perhaps. Oh, and in the rain, how romantic. In the rain, she meets Atticus, Atticus Aldridge, Aldridge, who I think looks a bit like Prince William. Really? Yeah, so he has a little Prince William there to he him. He does have a regal air about him, I and think. And they, they met at Betty's Tea Room in Harrogate. Yes. Outside the shop, in the rain. In the rain, so romantic. But you know Betty's is an actual tea room that's been around since before the 20s. They actually supplied them with pictures, they built a mini Betty's, and supplied them with baked goods. So those are actual wow. Betty's Tea Room baked goods that she's carrying in her basket. As Attica says, I love cake. Oh, you can come and have some if you like. But she takes the tea off to the Russians yes. and introduces Atticus to Prince Koragan. Yes. What happens then? Well, the prince is a little more of a diplomat than his friend. Yes. His friend goes off in a tizzy and Atticus explains because um, his people were Jewish. And the beauty was that Lady Rose, yes. who is sweetly without prejudice, yes, she is. said, well, you're English and you're Jewish, so what's the difference? What's the difference? And did yeah. you see his smile? It was, he was so happy. He looked so tense beforehand yes. and then all of a sudden he melted and asked, could he buy her dinner in London? So we're looking <laughs> forward to see what's going to happen with Lady Rose and, and Atticus, Atticus, a very handsome couple indeed. Yeah. Speaking of handsome couples, Lord Merton and Isabel. Yes. The dowager had a little luncheon. Yes, she did. Yes. But I like how she's still conspiring with Dr. Clarkson yes. to keep yes. them apart. He asks her, are you yes. uncomfortable with the fact that she's going to be a great lady? Yeah. And do you prefer her As middle a, class? A, yes, a bourgeoise, <laughs> exactly. a, a nice bourgeoise. Um, and what does she say? A hollow existence in a large and drafty house with a man who bores her to death. So, I mean, altruistic? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> but the doctor is very willing to go in on this. Isabel says, oh, it would be wonderful that, for the doctor and Lord Merton to meet because they're, they will have so much to talk about. Exactly. And he'll be able to see that behind Lord Merton's title, there's an actual man with interests exactly. and intelligence. Exactly. And what, five minutes into the luncheon, they the doctor say, says, yeah, they're well I, suited. They're well suited, I, even though we hate to admit it, they're yes. well suited. So who knows where that's going to lead. Ellen Terry has nothing on you when it comes to stringing out a moment. And Barrow is sticking just when you Barrow. think. Barrow. You pity him, you want things to turn out he well. He looks You're like he's dying, number one. What is going yes, on even, there? You even ask at dinner, is, is Mr. Carson you overworking well? you? Exactly. And you're just ready to start rooting for Barrow, and then all of a sudden he turns he's back into Barrow. Still. Or wants to bring, yeah. Yeah, he Mrs. might Hughes have something warns. to talk to the inspector about. Yeah, and she he's says, just don't nasty. cause trouble, don't cause exactly. trouble. You'd think, by now. Nope, he's not no. going to learn. True to form. Just lay off. How about Baxter and Molesley? Might you tell me? She's finally told him exactly what went on in her former house. And he sees her as the victim, and he she's does. not having that, which I, I like her more she's, because she's revealed all of this. Yeah, she's you really, know. you know, she's really accepting what she's done, and, and she's not taking, she's not pushing the blame on anybody no, else. No, no, and, 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 uh, and you And he know. still loves her, and he still believes that, you know, she was a victim. We yes. just want her to be happy. Yes. Like, we just want Anna and Bates to be happy. Yes. The so police are the back. The police are back, and they were questioning Anna and, and Lady, Lady Mary. Mary. Oh my gosh! You have no reason to believe that Bates was anywhere further south than York. No reason at all. And they were just questioning because Anna was in London yes. on the day that Green died. And so not only was she in London, she went back and retraced the steps. She and did. Had, How did she know? You know, and 
somehow did not see the world's most giant <laughs> plainclothes detective exactly. following her. around behind her. You, you think he'd cast a so shadow? I think I mean everybody can be uh, a suspect in this because yes. clearly Anna was in London on the day of the, the crime, and Mr. Bates, although he was in York, there was it was a little his. There's some doubt. There's some doubt. His his alibi is a little shaky because he could have hopped a train, headed to London, done the dirty deed, and then gotten back. Oh, I love it when he's like that. Oh, you just like a bad boy, don't you? I do. You? I like Bates. I promise you this. Nothing bad is ever going to happen to you again. That sweet old. Anna. Yes. Sweet Anna. Speaking of sweet, Mrs. Patmore inherits some money. Yes, from an aunt. aunt yes. Exactly. And aunt. she goes to Mr. Carson, Carson for financial advice because he's a man of the world. Yes. And then she finds out, well, his advice might not be great. And I loved it when she called him and when he, you know, peeked at the builders. And you can yeah. tell his little <laughs> wheels are turning. He's talking to Lord Grantham. He hears about the builders. He goes to Mrs. Patmore and she pretty much asks, Have they gone public? Well, um, you have to make inquiries. She ends up buying, she's going to look into buying a little cottage yes. and use it as a rental uh, And Mrs. Property. Hughes, bless her, said, if men only worried about our feelings a quarter as much as we as worry we about do. them. And they do tippy-toe around Carson's feelings, exactly. which is sweet to see. And now for this week's installment of Poor Edith. Edith. What is happening? <laughs> Lady Rosamund arrives at Downton Abbey because she's heard that Edith has taken a, a shine to some little girl little in farmer's a county, daughter. Yes. and I think she knows, so she's come to investigate. Oh, she knows. She knows. So she finds out. It's Marigold. They go to visit. Well, we don't want to disturb your day. I've got to get the dinner started on top of everything else. Yes. Okay, the farmer, the sheep farmer's wife, she's a little rude, because yeah. these are the grand ladies of the estate. Yeah. And even, you'd think that she would hide her feelings a little better. She doesn't hide them at all. Oh, no, no. You can see that class things are breaking down the class. Yes, yeah, she <laughs> looks at them very resentfully and I've, I've got a lot a lot of work to do so you better just shove off. Yes. <laughs> very rude. Yes. So you know so they meet a uh, little marigold so, uh, Rosamond does and then they take her up to the house and where the dowager countess is now suspecting. Oh yes. And uh, you know you can't get anything past the dowager countess. Oh no she brings Rosamond to task and yes. says you're not leaving the house. You know you're not leaving my house until, until you, you tell, tell me. me. So they both confront Poor Edith. Edith. Who got a little snarky at dinner. She did. Well, she's had enough. I mean, she's had enough. So yeah. they, they confront her and say, listen, this is just not going to work. And you need no. to take little Marigold and send her off to a boarding school in France. Yes, and never let them know who you are. Exactly. And Edith, I'm sensing, is not going to have any of it. And you agree with this, Granny? Well, I know it sounds very harsh, but what else are we to do? So... Charles Blake and Lady Mary and perhaps Miss Lane Fox are maybe scheming to get Tony Gillingham back into Miss Lane Fox's good graces. Yes, even she though... leaves in a huff. I'm going. But well, what should we do with your food? Eat it. And I hope it chokes you. Yes. <laughs> but it was all for show because he's yes. implanted the idea now that Tony Gillingham is, is wounded and needing a shoulder to cry on. Yes. I think she's run back to him. Mm. I think, I well, we'll see what happens. I know. Yes, I time guess. will tell. But <laughs> okay, so are we ready to go there? Knock, knock. Who's there? Simon Bricker. Simon Bricker, who? Pow! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Lord Grantham! Yes! A southpaw! Oh my yes. God, I loved it! Oh, oh gosh. Hugh well, Bonneville. Yeah. Getting all down and dirty and I've got to say, though, I was kind of waiting for Cora to smack him. <laughs> okay, can we just find... What side of the fence is Cora on here? Because she can't be that daft that she doesn't know Bricker is I, totally you know, and in I, love with her. I think we've all been there. We've enjoyed a little bit of flirtatious attention. Con yeah, conversation. You know you when a guy likes you. Yeah, but you you don't think that they're gonna come knocking on your bedroom door and, and she you knew know. that her husband wasn't going to be home. That's true. She knew that Lady Mary wasn't going to be there. Men sometimes <laughs> take politeness as an invitation, exactly. and Simon Bricker did. And then so, here comes <clears throat> Lord Grant. Oh, and you see him, they, they set it up, he's coming down the hall, and oh you're going, no, 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 no. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> it was so good when he comes in. Oh, he's, he's so like, cool. It's like when he saw my people. My dinner and... ended early. Yes. Sorry to be such a disappointment. So but when, yes, when Bricker tells him that, you know, this is a beautiful woman that you've not appreciated and take it for granted. Yay! Yay, you Bonneville! Yes, 
and Simon Bricker deserved it. He absolutely did. Yes. But, but the coolness comes from Lady Cora when Lady Edith is knocking oh. on the bedroom door. Mama, has everything all right? So sorry, Daddy. Father and I are just playing a stupid game. And we knocked over a lamp. <laughs> what game? They played. Oh, because yeah. Because that was an awful lot of noise. And they knocked over a lamp. <laughs> so... Yes, it's, it's quite exciting behind closed doors. And you know, poor Edith is, is tromping her back parents. to her bedroom saying, I never get to have any fun in my her bedroom. Her parents are having more fun than she is. My God. Yes. Oh my God, the Granthams can yes. really have. 50 shades of Grantham going on back there. <laughs> Speaking of moments that made you want to break out into a dance, Miss Bunting. Miss Bunting's gone! Yes! Yay! Ding yes. dong, Miss Bunting's gone, Miss Bunting's gone, Miss Bunting's gone. <laughs> <laughs> but I, she, these these last couple conversations, you saw how poorly she read. She still does not get it. No. She still does not get it. Yes. He's, he's breaking up with her and he says, you pitted yourself against this family from the beginning. Yeah. What did My you expect? My wife was part of the family. My, My child is part, of the, part of the family. And she still looks at them and he yes. says, I know you despise them. And she says, don't you despise them? Really? No, I don't. But maybe she really thought she was going to come in there and he was going to say, yes, she's right, and now we're going off together. And and, and I just could not no. wait. I, I just kept thinking, cut it off, say yes. goodbye, and just, just drive away. Because I just kept thinking that she was going to talk him into staying yes. or talking, you know, second chances. And he was really pretty kind about he the was whole very thing. Kind. And I, I did feel a little bad for her in a way. You did? Because, just a little bit. Because, again, I like her downstairs with Daisy. Yes. She's wonderful. And Daisy was so cute in this whole thing. Daisy's, Daisy's like, yeah, I've got to yeah. save the day. Rallying and, and, to her defense. Yeah. And, and stepping uh, out of line and going to Branson and saying, you really are making a mistake. You yeah, really she need loves to you yes. and, and everything. And he so does when go he, when say he, goodbye. He goes to say the final goodbye. And mm -hmm. I really thought, just let her get in the car and drive away. Yes. And she says, I really did love you. And if you yeah. just allowed me to love you more. Then she says, what I don't like is she says, I wish I met you before you met any of yes. these people. She just despises them so much. She can't get past no, the, she, well, the class differences and, and her hatred of of the aristocracy. You remind me of who I am, and I'm grateful. And I won't lose touch with that again. Okay, now we're ready for comments and tweets. Uh, we've got a lot of comments and tweets from you guys this week. So, Elise, who do you have? Um, oh, I have Mick Sam on YouTube. Absolutely love, 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 Downton Dish. Yay! Oh, thank you. She says, gossiping from behind my fluttering fan. Now that poor <laughs> Edith has been ousted from the Drew household, it made me think that maybe I've missed something. How exactly was Edith able to get her baby back in the locale and install Marigold undetected with Tim Drew? Well, they That's did kind of go over that. Yeah, they she did. says, raises one eyebrow and feigns a sip of tea. So they didn't really <laughs> go into the machinations of how no, she brought right. the baby back. Because the end of last season, we, we just know that you know she had the baby yes. and the baby had been installed with a family in Switzerland adopted by them yes right and then here comes season five she's already there and she's already point. there so it is a good question we don't know how she no. was able to finagle that so we have a message from Helen Tranum who just discovered Downton Dish today Yay. she said you guys are a hoot she belongs to a Facebook group that uh, talks about Downton Abbey spoilers 24 7 and she says poor Edith will have her way one day soon she said so good on her, so she's rooting for Lady Edith. But thank you so much. Tell yes. all your friends about the Downton Dish. Tell Please. all the groups that you belong to and all your Twitter pals to join us on the Downton Dish. We have one friend, uh, Martha Leeds, who was the uh, winner of our giveaway last week. She says that she enjoys her Yorkshire tea while she's watching the Downton Dish. So that's what we invite you all to do is grab a nice hot cuppa and join us on the Downton Dish. Yes, I drank Yorkshire tea just this morning. You did. Very good. Okay, Travis Bentley on YouTube. Love your show. I love your info on Downton Abbey and your dresses. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Deborah Galen loves to watch us when she has time, like after work or late at night. That's so yes. nice. We, you can be entertained Any by Downton Dish anytime. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Leslie Garrison, no episode of Downton Abbey is complete until I've enjoyed the Downton Dish. Thank you. <laughs> we have a fan in Brazil, Civil de Lima. 
She says that uh, Downton is actually aired one week later, so they get it one week delayed. So she's actually watching Downton Abbey and the Downton Dish one week delayed. But she is watching us. She says, you look amazing. And Elise is very dowager-like, very witty. <laughs> Very Thank nice. Thank you. Yes. And if, you, if you're if you one of those people who gets your DVD and then binge watches, then you can watch all the Downton binge dishes after that. Binge watch the Downton dish. Yes. And our, our fan in France, Delphine, says, uh, you're wonderful, Aww. stay as you are. I hope to win for my sister who loves marmalade. <laughs> well, speaking of which, that's exactly what we're giving away this week. It's the Downton Abbey marmalade. Shall we give it away? Yes. Excellent. Here we go. Get the teapot and see who's going to Mix win them all up. the Downton Abbey Marmalade, which I've tried, and it's quite delicious. Here we go, picking, picking, picking. And we have our new viewer, Helen Tranum, who just ah. discovered Downton Dish today. Yay, Helen, congratulations. congratulations. You've won the Downton Abbey Marmalade. That will be on its way to you along with the signed picture from Elise and I. And now for this week's giveaway, we're going to give away the Grantham Breakfast Tea. It's the Earl of Grantham Tea, which we have been trying today and we absolutely love it. What do you yes, think about it? I like it, it's gingery. It's got a little snap to it. Yes, it is very yes. gingery and spicy. So how do you win the tea? Leave a comment below this video or tweet us at hashtag Downton Dish. Let us know what you think of the show and any questions if you have them, but remember the hashtag Downton Dish and your name will go in a drawing in the teapot for next week. So thank you so much for joining us this week. I'm Marlies. And I'm Elise. And you've been watching The, the Downton, Downton Dish. Dish.